So now that we have the customization workspace engaged, let's see what it does on the screen. So on the bottom bar here, I have a number of options and one of them is the tie off and we'll use that as an example. I'm going to go open that up and there are the options for the tie off beginning, the end, select all, thread cut. But what happens when I open that menu is I can no longer see the information about the stitch, the width, the length, the tension. So if I need to adjust those, I have to close this menu. And what if I want to have both of them on the screen at the same time? So because the customization is now turned on, I have a new icon. It's a box with an arrow and I'm going to select that box and it grays out the options and a new box appears. If I grab that box and drag it up, do you see what happens? It separated that menu into a new menu that allows me to drag it wherever I want on the screen. So now that I have the options there, I can go down and close that. And there's my stitch information, tension, the length and the width. If I had, I mean, I've got a straight stitch, so there's no width. They got positioning. Um, the four vertical bars allow me or tell me that that menu or that uh, yeah, menu option can be moved anywhere on the screen. And so that's the same and I, you can't see it, but I'm going to drag it down here so you can see. This is the menu that allows me access to the projection, my stitches or my files. And because those four vertical bars are in the top, it allows me to drag it anywhere on the screen. So if I happen to have a lot of information or I'm doing an embroidery or whatever um, that requires more room, I can position those around so it's not blocking what I'm working with. If I want to close the tie off option, that separate little bar, there is an X which will allows me to close it. And it's because of that flexibility that if you haven't turned on the customization on your screen, you really should. It is an amazing feature. I absolutely love it.